Hey! Good fish! <laughs> it's the 29th of August. 2018, and I can't explain this stuff, you guys. I mean, it comes to me. I know that it's from the spirit because it's just the eyes to see things. But this is just, this is one of the more off the hook ones that I've, that I've come across or been shown in quite a while. It just is, okay? And it's just a couple of articles that I saw today. That's all it is. This came out. You know, earlier today, a oh, 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 Los Angeles street to be renamed after Obama. And they've been planning this for a while because I remember like over a year ago talking about this, right? But they finally did it, okay? They, they finally did the road after Barack Obama, okay, here in Los Angeles. They just announced it at 1.41 a.m., uh, blah, blah, blah. And the piece of road that they renamed for him is exactly three and a half miles long. And it is, and I'm going to show you. So that right there, it just instantly came in my mind. Three and a half years, 42 months, okay. Um, Obama Boulevard, right? And they did it so it coincided when they announced it yesterday. Apparently that was the 55th anniversary of the Martin Luther King speech I have a dream okay so this all went on yesterday and the, it got released early this morning and there's a lot of more interesting things in there but I just want to show you this because it's crazy so I saw this article first a little bit later you know I come in the office I sit down and I'm looking at some more news and I come across this article right here deny a 4.4 magnitude earthquake shakes Southern California near Los Angeles. And, like, it just popped into my head. Obama just had a street named after him, and he was the 44th president, right? And this article came out last night at 11.09 p.m. 9.11, right? Just try and bear with me. And this earthquake happened just outside of L.A., east of L.A., and there's some more interesting things in here, too, but the, the craziest stuff of all, right? So I go to the G USGS thing, but I'm just led to do it. And I get the coordinates, and I go to it on the map, which I'll show you. But also notice, okay, it was at 4.4, 4 kilometers north of Laverne, California. And it occurred at 2.33, 28 UTC. And I also saw that on another um, site that does earthquakes here in Telecast. And there it is at 4.4, so on and so forth, uh, at 233.28 GMT, right? So there's this earthquake, 44, Obama, 44. So I take the coordinates to the earthquake and I put them into the google earth and i go there okay this is right over here the exact um coordinates right goes right here you'll notice it's 117 west i notice that and i go to make a line from and oh before i do that i gotta show you watch this i gotta show you obama boulevard Okay, I traced it out, and this is the exact position that it goes in. Let me turn on the little, there it is. This is it right here, and, and that that purple line, let me show you the, uh, the properties of that, because it's interesting. 3.56 miles, that's how long it is. It ends down the end of the street here, and it ends down the end of the street here. Where these come together, it ends right there, right? So I go, <laughs> this is crazy, you, you just can't believe this kind of stuff. I go from Obama Boulevard, right, well, I drew the line already, but I'll show it to you, okay? So I go right there, I mean right there at the end of Obama Boulevard, and I go to the earthquake, right to where the little pin marker is, like right there, right? Okay, I could swing it over a little bit, and it won't make any difference, but... You gotta look at this. This is this is the craziest thing ever. Oh, that's just the pin. 
I got I need the line the line is this one right here okay this is nuts look at look at how far it is 32.2 miles away and like I say I could move this right to the pin and it stays the same 32.2 miles like exactly you guys right to the USGS pin and it's the same exact measurement as uh, or the same time see it was at 233 and the measurement is 322 or 322 the skull and bones i mean this is the kind of crazy stuff that i am basically showing you guys and it's like i don't know how to really explain it to be honest with you it's just the way it is and, and it actually goes on. I mean, these things seem, seemingly always do. Because this little s intersection right here, from this intersection, right? And this is just what the things that come upon me to do. If I go from here and I stay parallel with this line, with the same line that, that Obama Boulevard is, you see how that's 270 degrees? Well, that's a perfect westerly line that's perfect westerly which isn't surprising it's a city street it's laid out that way but check this out i went in that parallel line to that all i did was just draw out the line and because we've been seeing 9 11 so much i stay parallel to that line okay let me just turn on the line for you i hope i saved it i can't i don't know if i even saved it or not i don't think i did no nope, that's not it that's not it oh that that's it right there okay so we're staying parallel you can see here we're staying parallel with that line at 270 degrees and it goes I'm gonna take this one out and this one out because that's more of the story and it goes straight over here right and look where it goes to I've seen this before but I'm this is crazy a big giant Masonic compass and square <laughs> You can, I'm not kidding you guys, okay? That's this line, sorry, right there, okay? Now, these are the actual properties, and you can go to Google Earth and do this yourself. 9.12 miles. And I mean, if I just move the line, which I hate to do, I always like to go exactly where things are. Look how little I have to move it outside of the G. It just goes to 12 right at the, the inside of the G. Boom. 9-11. Seriously. Now, again, I don't even know what this could possibly mean. I I'm serious. But you got yourself Obama Boulevard, the 44th president. You get a 4.4 .4 earthquake on the same day. Okay? It's exactly 32.2 miles away, and it had occurred at 2.23. Right? And then when you go parallel to Obama Boulevard from where it begins, 9.11 miles... At 270 degrees, you wind up at a giant Masonic compass and squares in the middle of Santa Monica, Los Angeles. Okay? Right? And, Nick, and believe me, I can go on. There's much more that fits into this. It's like this giant, like, etch-a-sketch that's just been drawn over the centuries. And now we're able to see it being drawn out. I have no idea what this exactly means. All I know is... If, if if nothing else, it's a pretty crazy factoid, right? We can call it a crazy factoid, but it's spirit-driven. I can tell you that because it's me telling you, and I'm the one showing you. I don't know how else to, to even look at this stuff anymore. It's so crazy to me sometimes, and, and to show it to you on top of it, you know what I mean? I'm looking for one more thing here that um, it was put upon my heart to... Uh, do here. here it is um i do know these people i do but i mean it was put heavy on my heart today and i'll tell you what this is the real deal and you know i drink coffee but i only drink organic coffee and these folks here they are solid believers okay they're just about to have their first baby i'm not gonna lay the whole sob story on you but you know they're they're hurting and so they got this business going and you know they could use our support that's all it's good product and i hope you go there and buy some coffee um so you know it's just put on me to do that and i'll leave the link in the description for you but this is right 
crazy, okay? You, you can't deny... I, hold on. You, you can't deny the craziness of this, right? This article comes out, they actually make it official on the same day, the same day that there's a 4.4 Obama 44 earthquake, 32.2 miles, 322 miles, exactly, to the beginning of Obama Boulevard. So, I'm sure somebody can probably, you know, add something to this or make heads or tails of it because as it stands right now i can't but we know obama is uh absolutely nothing in any way shape or form uh, that he's portrayed himself to be all these years uh, that he is a usurper at the very very least and a liar <laughs> it's all you need to know they lie all men lie <laughs> So put your trust in Christ, and maybe one of you can ask what this means, if anything, more than just, like I say, you know, those those things that just get revealed to us, if, if for nothing else, just to ensure us that He is with us, and that Holy Spirit will never steer you into anything that's going to be a lie. It can't. So, you know... I just can't tell you what stuff like this means, but it's, like I said, it's a factoid. So, if nothing else, thank you and praise you, Heavenly Father, for this fun, interesting factoid that we know means something to the enemy. It always does. I mean, how do you get 9-11 exactly to a giant compass and squares from the beginning of the newly christened Obama Boulevard? in the very heart of Los Angeles. So, man, I love you guys. I can't help but share this stuff. I, I truly hope it blesses somebody and just shows you that there's a spiritual war. That you need to stay on the right paths and head for the right gates and doors and all of those things, all those paths and doors and gates lead to one place. Jesus, that's it. There is no other. You're just going to find locked gates and locked doors with no keys. Because Jesus is the key. He is life. True life. So, seek him above all things. Peace and grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God,